Welcome back to the Last News Channel. I'm your host, Rich Mixellout the Third. In today's top story, one million and a half morons plan to storm the gates of Area 51. And we happen to have an interview with one of these idiots. Please welcome Mr. Steve Dundee. Hello, Rich. Thanks for having me on your program. Mr. Dundee, let me ask you. What do these million and a half morons plan to do once they get inside Area 51? Well, I believe we're going to do some sort of a blitzkrieg where all of us rush the gate at the same time and the military will only be able to pick up a few of us while the rest of us get in. Kind of like a herd of zebra evading a lion. I see. And what do you plan to do once you get inside of the base? Well, to be honest, Rich, we plan to tear that motherfucker apart until we find some UFO material. Let me ask you, Mr. Dundee, what happens if you get inside the base, you tear everything apart, and you find no UFO material? really thought about that, Rich. I'm not really sure. Although now I guess I suppose we'd kind of just uh, walk away with our heads down and apologize. I mean, what else could we do? Let me ask you, Mr. Dundee, when do you plan on doing this raid on Area 51? On September 20th, two months from today. Let me ask you something, Mr. Dundee. What if SEAL Team 6 announced to the world that in two months they would be raiding the hideout of Osama Bin Laden? Do you believe that Osama Bin Laden would be there on the day of the raid? Well, of course I do. I mean, it's his house, right? Why would he be there? Well, because he knew the raid was coming, and so he decided to hide himself so he wouldn't be caught. Well, I'm not quite sure what you mean, but uh, all right. Let me ask you something, Mr. Dundee. What would it take to stop you one and a half million idiots from storming Area 51 and exposing our secrets to the world? Is there anything that could stop you? Well, of course there's something that can stop us. All we need is the government to come out and admit UFOs exist. Preferably like the Pentagon. If the Pentagon were to come out and admit UFOs exist and provide some sort of video evidence, possibly of some encounter with the Navy or something, with Nimitz-class aircraft carrier and fighter pilots describing their encounter with the UFOs, yes, if the Pentagon came out and did that, then there'd be no need for a raid on Area 51. Of course, duh. I see. Let me ask you... Oh, wait, what? My producer. Breaking news, everyone. We're not against rap. We're not against rappers. But we are against those thugs. It's the thuggish, ruggish bone. Back to you. Oh, that was uh, my MP3 player going off. Sorry. <laughs>